We are continuing to follow breaking news from the Middle East this morning. American jets have struck ISIS targets in Syria. It's all part of an intense operation, also involving five Arab countries and focused on ISIS hard targets in the city of Raqqa. That's the unofficial ISIS capital. Andrew Spencer reports that the coalition is targeting what has been a home base for the terror group in a war-torn Syria. An ISIS stronghold in Syria, Raqqa has been the scene of parades and celebrations of the terror group's conquests in the Middle East. Overnight, Raqqa became the target of an intense military operation, which started with the launch of Tomahawk cruise missiles. These are big, these are expensive, and they're typically only fired at fairly heavy static targets. So apparently ISIS had some air defenses that the U.S. war planners were a little bit worried about. It was over Raqqa that ISIS claimed to have taken down a Syrian war plane last week, with ISIS controlling or contesting large parts of both Syria and Iraq. Nearly half a dozen Arab countries teamed up with the United States for the strikes in Raqqa. That is something that the U.S. The administration, the Obama administration, was intent on building here, making this not yet another uh, relatively lone American intervention in the Middle East, but one that was that he was joined by local partners, and you have those local partners. Jordan, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates, at least three of them not only supporting the effort, but taking part in the bombings and the airstrikes. I'm Andrew Spencer reporting. Be sure to stay with KMIR today. We are keeping an eye on the situation in Syria this morning. We'll update you as new developments occur. And now to your top local stories this morning. An investigation is underway into a fatal rollover accident on Interstate 10. It happened around 11.30 a.m. near the Monroe Street exit in Indio. The woman has only been identified as a 57-year-old from Arizona. She was headed westbound. CHP says she drifted off the highway, overcorrected, and then flew across the lanes. Her SUV went down an embankment and then flipped over. The car was so badly wrecked that fire crews had to pry it open to reach her. No one else was injured in that accident. And we have some sad news to report this morning. The 84-year-old woman who had gone missing in the high desert has now been found dead. We learned yesterday that Nola Taylor's body was found Sunday morning in 29 Palms. She was discovered in the desert near the intersection of Desert Quail Drive and Baseline Road. That's also where her car was found. An autopsy will be performed this week to determine the cause of her death. The search for Nola started about two weeks ago. People became very concerned when she never showed up for her quilting class at the Yucca Valley Community Center. An 80-year-old La Quinta man has quite a story to tell this morning. He was rescued after getting lost on a weekend hike. His wife says he didn't return Sunday afternoon following a morning hike at the tram. Crews searched throughout the night. They didn't find him. But at 10 a.m. yesterday, he approached rescue crews near the top of the tram. He then told officials that he twisted his ankle during his hike and decided to bed down near Round Valley to let the swelling subside. So he's doing much better today. Let's get a check of that weather with meteorologist Greg Bennett. Hi, Greg. All right, good morning to you guys across the Coachella Valley. High desert and higher elevations, of course. Good morning to you as well, Gloria. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about today. We've got a beautiful day set up, but it's going to be on the warm side. We're actually ticking up these temperatures as we get into the second day of fall here. 104 degrees, clear skies. We expect the same deal as we get into tonight's forecast with clear conditions. Temperatures in the lower 80s, but notice the play-by-play -play here. About 98 degrees for the lunchtime hour, 101 degrees by 5. PM between three and four is where we expect to see our high temperature of about 104 degrees. Now we do see a big drop in our temperatures. It's coming up in our local area, so we'll give you the details on it uh, coming up in your lifestyle with a forecast. Thank you so much. Time right now, 35 minutes after the hour, and coming up after the break, it's a story aimed at the it's men number, in our so lives, big. husbands, fathers, brothers. They all need to get checked for a potential health issue. Janet Zapala has the details. And a reminder, KMIR is committed to making the Coachella Valley a better place to live. So if you have a problem or a story that you want us to look into, get in touch with us. You can email us, call us, you ask, we investigate. Stay with us. We'll be right back.